So that's kind of the first half or, you know, most of the song. And then there's, he's in that falsetto. What would you say if I took those words away? So it's kind of a different part. And uh, let me play it here. So... So it starts like <clears throat> starts the same way as the beginning of the song because but it does it twice so the thumb's going then it's the D with the thumb over the F sharp so check it out this is the what would you, I can't sing and play this one at the same time, but you don't want to hear me sing it anyway. So, so that twice you say if I, right? So if I is on that D with the F sharp, if I took those, if I took those words away. So E minor. B minor 7, which is just like that C minor 7, but barred on the 2nd fret instead. And actually, the B minor 7, honestly, it's it's almost the identical chord to a, the D chord. So if you couldn't, you know, you could play a D instead, and it's going to... still works. So check it out. So we go this twice, then the D. If I E, E, B minor, 7, C. One more time. Right? That twice. And then the D over F sharp. E, B, C. Right? And then it holds on that C. So it does a little walk down where the middle finger goes to the second fret of the A to the A minor 7. So from the top of that section, now the D, E minor, B minor 7, C, holds on C, C, walk down, the Joe love for me. Same thing. And with that B minor 7, we're thumbing the A string root. Same thing with the C. D7. One more time on that section real slow. Ah, sorry. Here we go again. time. Walk down. A minor seven. And that's the tune. So what I think we need to do now is do it all the way from the beginning. Here we go. This is from where the words come in. And I'll try to play it a little bit slower.
same thing again. Now E minor. A minor, seven. D. Now do a walk down, G, G. Walk down, E minor. And A minor, seven. D7, then G7, two C, then the C minor to the G, then to E minor, A minor, seven, D7. Now let's go to the next part. So a good thing to practice with any of the chords, and you can use this for a skill for later on, is this kind of pinch with the bass note. So sometimes it's bass note, then pinch. Other times it's bass note with the pinch. So let's do this. So I did a pinch all together with the bass note, just playing a G chord as, a, as an example. But if you can get into the rhythm without worrying about all the chords, Get that down, then go back to the chord changes, and it will, will really help. So we go like this, pinch everything, then just pinch this. Then the slap down. Then the pinch again. So one more time, then we're done. there was the lesson. Thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, thanks for subscribing to this channel. And if there's other lessons you'd like to learn from me, go ahead and like this video. Leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Uh, anyway, thanks again. And I can't wait to see you real soon. So take care and see you later.